Morning, everybody. KC here. So if you were reading Morning Newsbeat yesterday, you saw that we referenced a Fast Company story about how um, the Dixie Cup, which we all know, uh, basically uh, became popularized because of the uh, 1918 Spanish flu. The idea of having a single-use, throwaway paper cup suddenly was a really good response to uh, that particular pandemic. Um, in fact, it had been around uh, for a decade. Uh, it was known as the Healthy Cup. Um, uh, and uh, But suddenly, 1918, boy, it looks like the right product at the right time. And, and this happens with a lot of companies. But it was interesting because yesterday I got a text message from a Morning News Beat reader, a friend of mine, who said, wait a minute. In 2020, can you call something the Dixie Cup? That's a really good question. I mean, we're, we're living in a time where the Dixie Chicks uh, changed their name to the Chicks. There have been rumors about Win Dixie wanting to change, uh, perhaps being willing to change its name down the road. I wouldn't hold my breath for that one, by the way. Um, but I said, said, you know, I wonder what, um, why do they call it the Dixie Cup? Was it re reflective of some sort of racist heritage that we don't know about? And it ends up that the people at this Healthy Cup company, um, they basically had a building in, um, in New York City that was next door to a, um, build, um, a company, a building called the Dixie Doll Company. And um, there is no reference to, there's no explanation of, of why it was called the Dixie Doll Company except for the, for the fact uh, when that guy opened up that, that, uh, that business, um, the name Dixie was already on the building. <clears throat> and so he wanted to save some money, so he called it the Dixie Doll Company. Then when the Healthy Cup people were moving next door, they really liked the name, uh, especially because I guess uh, French uh, currency sometimes was referred to as Dixies and was considered to be really reliable. They believed their cuffs were just as reliable. So they went to the Dixie Doll Company and said, can we use your name? And they said, yes, apparently not getting any money for the deal. Um, and that's why they're called the Dixie Cup. So there's, there's nothing insidious that I, that I could find in their background. You know, thank God for the internet. You can actually go find this kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure somebody will suggest at some point that maybe they need to change their name, but they clearly don't have to. It is a reference that goes back to uh, a doll company and French currency, go figure, which is almost more unlikely than the idea that they would invent this cup and only find out 10 years later that it had a use because of a pandemic. And I continue to ask the question, what are we, what's out there right now that has not seemed particularly useful uh, that we're going to say, oh boy, it was the pandemic of 2020 that really set that company on fire. Uh, one example, obviously, is Zoom, but there will be others, just as I believe that there will be retailers who will find that the, during the pandemic of 2020, it forced them to be uh, more innovative, to do more things, to try more things, to keep up with a very fast-changing consumer uh, population and consumer needs, and they, and they really found their stuff. And there will be companies that will not. But the companies we'll want to talk about are the companies that did. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.